Hey there guys, my name is Ed. I'm just gonna quickly run you through how to prepare your artwork if you have got opacity settings uh, that allow overlapping layers to do what we can see on screen here. Um, we are gonna take two minutes just to quickly show you how to add a bleed and a cut layer to make sure that this looks perfect uh, and stick with me and we'll get through it in just a mo. So, um, Basically, we're doing a project with the NHS at the moment, and this is some of their artwork. Uh, we're calling these things shards, uh, and basically we're gonna be putting these up in, in their offices and putting, basically, uh, all of the areas of white are gonna be cut away, and we're just gonna be cutting uh, on our print and cut machine to allow these shards to stick on the wall, and the areas of white are all cut away. But the problem is, if you, we go to add a bleed to this, it's gonna create some it's going to edit the artwork. So we are basically going to come in here and show you how to do this exactly. So I'm going to come into my layers panel. And what I want to do is create a, a duplicate of this layer. But as you can see, as we do that, we've basically made it darker because it, this particular layer um, is set to uh, multiply. Uh, if I can find it here so, a second. So if I just select one of these objects, you can see here that this opacity setting is on multiply and multiply basically means that as you place um, uh, objects on top of each other it basically takes out the white and allows you to be able to just see color uh, on top of color and it creates these really funky effects when you put one on top of each other the problem is that when you put uh, when we try and do our bleed layer and cut layer it causes us some issues so what we're going to do is we're going to create our second layer and we're going to create a third layer in the middle. Now I'm going to talk, call the top one print. I'm going to call this second one white. And I'm going to call this third one bleed. Now basically what we are effectively trying to do here is create a white barrier between the bleed and print layer. Uh, so that at the moment when we see the print layer there it basically is the same it looks exactly correct because the background of this artboard is white. The moment we put something else underneath it, it darkens. So we're basically gonna change this middle layer to be white. Now the problem is, if we just turn this into a, into white, it's still set to an opacity setting. So what we need to be doing is coming over here and clicking opacity and then click normal. So we wanna change this layer to be normal and then change it over in your layers panel to solid white. And then I, because it's cleaner in the Pathfinder menu, I like to unite that so that we've just got two solid shapes here in our, in our example. Um, now, when we turn the print layer on, if we turn the bleed layer on, it doesn't make a difference, but it is under there. It's just being black blocked out by this white layer. So we've done the first bit right. The second bit is then to come and do as we would normally do with print and cut work, we'll create a bleed. Now this particular job, as you can see here, is two and a half meters wide. So I'm gonna add, because it's so big, I'm gonna add a five millimeter bleed. Your artwork may only need a three millimeter bleed if we've asked you for a three mil, but I'm gonna create this five mil bleed on this one. Uh, and as we create the white, you can see this is all I've added to the artwork effectively is this border around the outside. And as we do our print layer, and then take our bleed on and off, all we are changing is the border around the outside. So basically, that is how to prepare your artwork like that. I'm gonna duplicate this white layer one more time and create our cut layer. I'm gonna bring that down to the bottom and rename this cut. And I will hide all three of those. And they are there, you just can't see them. I will now just give myself a stroke because for our cut layer, we want to be uh, creating a stroke, but we want to create a new swatch and we want to call this cut contour, C-O-N-T-O-U-R. Um, we want to be keeping a capital C and a capital C on this. This is exactly how you want it. And we want to be putting spot color and then I make it 100% black. It doesn't really matter what spot color it is. It just needs to be named cut contour and it needs to be a spot color. Um, if, if you make that as it is, that would be great. And then I will change the stroke weight down to 0.25. So 
that's how to prepare it. And then I would then also come into this cut layer and I'll change the color of it to magenta. And I'll show you just now what that then looks like. So we've got our print and cut layers all ready and set up. And as we click the cut layer, we can see this is where our cutter will follow to cut these shapes out. Uh, and as it comes along, if for whatever reason, it's not loaded onto the, uh, the machine perfectly straight, as this comes along, it can cut out and get you a perfect, um, perfect shape without any white borders around the outside. So that, guys, is how to prepare your artwork um, ready for print with opacity and multiply settings on, on some of your artwork. Um, if you have any further queries, we would, be, we would be happy to help. So don't hesitate to get in touch. And uh, thanks very much for using Vinyl Impression. Cheers.